Welcome back to Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. We're going to talk about the recent decision of the courts to um, to throw out, in effect, the attempt by Abdullahi Malami to try and keep Namdekano in jail illegally. Uh, let's listen to what the reporter says here and of course one of the lawyers supporting Oyaki Lomi, I think it is his name, Hassan, um, you know, says about the case. Um, the government has no leg to stand on. This is why we're telling you that contraption Nigeria is a fraud. If the government is refusing to comply with the constitution, what does that tell you about that constitution? Comply as in when a judge government a judgment is made by the courts, by the judiciary, the executive arm must respect it. But they don't respect it. What they do is they want to impose themselves. They don't they think they are above the law. That is why we're saying one Nigeria is a fraud, it's a scam. We must dismantle it. And we continue to say the, the this is for what is happening to Minam de Kanu is happening to many others. And when we can with man Minam de Kanu's case, he's got health issues and the government of the day doesn't care. And that is why I'm telling you that Nigeria is not a democracy. As, like I said before, um, it is um, it is a pretense. It is a violent governance. It is a unitary system of governance in dressed up to be a, a, a democracy. And that's why we're telling you that the Nigerian constitution is a fraud. It's a fraud. So, like I said, you know, the, the Abdul Salami wrote that, gave you, imposed that constitution on you. And that's why we're saying that fraud, that fake, that lie. It is a fraud that we must dismantle. Let's watch this case. Let's listen up. The Court of Appeal in Abuja has reserved judgment in an application by the federal government seeking a stay of execution of a court's judgment that discharged the Afro Nation agitated Namdi Kanu of alleged terrorism and treason. Justice Haruna Samani, who presided over the hearing of the application, announced that a date for delivery of judgment would be communicated to all parties involved in the matter. In its argument, the federal government told the court that Namdi Kanu is a huge threat to national security and must be kept in detention for there to be relative peace. However, lead counsel to Namdi Kanu, Mike Ozekome, in his argument informed yeah, the court Ozekome, that the federal sorry. government was in contempt of court by not obeying the October 13 judgment and as such has no moral and legal rights to make the request from the same court, insisting that releasing his client is a sure guarantee for peace. Exactly. Every, every queer. Listen. Listen. Eagles are happy and they are looking forward to this judgment that once Namdi Kanu is released, there will be peace in the Southeast. 2023 elections will come very well. I thought, I do not know who advises this government. If I were the advisor, I would say, sir, Mr. President, let my people go. And would Namdi Kanu leave him? Prisons. Don't forget any day they hold him further from 13th of October. It's illegal detention. It's, We're already going to court with a fundamental rights enforcement matter. From the 13th of October, every day they hold him, it's an illegal detention. And that is that is not it, it, that cannot be a democracy. It cannot be a democracy. And that's why we're saying what we're saying. The time has come for us to go for dissolution of that contraption Nigeria. It has to be dismantled. Peter Obi, all of you talking about supporting Peter Obi. Peter Obi cannot change the fraudulent 1999 constitution. And INEC will not allow him, will not let him win. You've already seen that they're bringing in foreigners to be to, to, to become Nigerians so they can read that election. He will never win. Wake up. Peter Obi is not the answer. Emiloko is not the answer. Atik is certainly not the answer. The only solution is dissolution. We have the right to self-determination. Let's listen on. So it is releasing in the Kano that will bring about peace and tranquility, not detaining him. And we have also argued that the court cannot stay the liberty of a citizen. So what is it that will bring peace? Releasing in the Kano. The medical doctors with their assessors, the federal government doctor, have no answer to Nam the Kano's heart ailment. He suffers depleting potassium. All they will do at times, they come and increase dosage. They will lower the dosage. They are using Nam the Kano, as we submitted today, as a guinea pig, without knowing what is wrong with him. 
in contraption one nigeria we the citizens are being treated like guinea pigs and you're talking about you want to believe in one nigeria you need to wake up one nigeria is a fraud you had it there you had it we need to dismantle that contraption now they have refused a second opinion from a specialist doctor as joseph britanyako ordered they refused they refused a second opinion and that you know what they're very good. Look at what happened after they killed MK Abiola. After they killed him. Oh, they've now given June 12. What does June 12 do? In the in the democracy day. What does that do? How has that impacted the life of the people? Don't you understand that this is a game that's been played? We must dismantle contract in Nigeria. It is a fraud. We have to dismantle it. And you and I, every community from every ward, in every part of the Southwest, Southeast, and Middle Belt, we need to work together to dismantle contract in Nigeria. You have the right to self-determination. That's what I'm here to tell you, and we will keep reinforcing that message. Listen on. Now you should allow a specialist doctor to come in. All the applications we have made to the DSS or the SSS to allow them to come, they have rejected them. Does that sound to you like a democracy? When a government has been instructed to allow the specialist doctors to see them, they've rejected it. And you're telling me that we're a democracy. We are not a democracy. Nigeria is a fraud. It's a unitary system of governance that we must dismantle. And that's what I'm here to remind you. I'm not going to play any more of it. You've got the message there. What I'm trying to get you to do is to really understand that every time that everybody that's been held against, against the court judgment, and there are many, there are many people, because they haven't got money, you wouldn't even get to hear of them then. There are many being held against court judgment by this fraudulent governance. And that is evidence that we're not a democracy. We need to dismantle contract in Nigeria. And we're against state on conditional release of, of Mazin Namdekanu. Again, on health grounds alone. But they say the, the government doesn't care. And they're telling you to believe in one Nigeria. They don't care about us as indigenous people. We need to dismantle contract in Nigeria. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching this the platform where we speak truth to power. So let me just, before I go, Go ahead and subscribe to Citizen AY on YouTube. Hit notification button. Give us the uh, and, and thumbs up as well. Subscribe, hit notification button, give us a thumbs up. Help us share the message. It's really important that this is, is made clear. Let's listen to the words he said before I go. Listen, listen to this. This I, I want you to listen to this. Dick, without knowing what is wrong with him. You see? Now, they have refused listen. a second opinion from a specialist doctor, mm -hmm. as Joseph Britanyako ordered. Mm -hmm. Now you should allow a specialist doctor to come in. All the applications we have made to the DSS or the SSS to allow them to come, they have rejected them. Does that sound to you like a democracy? Does that sound to you like a democracy? That's three, this is an excerpt from TV360 News. Now, um, I just wanted to just play that to you. What we're saying is we're demanding for the unconditional uh, release. Totally unconditional. They have to, he, to, since the 13th of October, the government is actually putting him in illegal detention. They have no grounds on which to hold him. But this is the evidence of why we're saying that we're not a democracy, because the government does not comply with its own constitution. The federal government does not comply with its own constitution. It is a fraud. The solution is the only solution. Listen, I'm just man, you're watching Susan the platform where we speak through the power. I'll be back later on. Uh, thanks for watching. Please do share this broadcast. What are your thoughts? Leave your comments. Let's hear your views on this. And uh, what do you think? Is this a right? Um, is this are, are we saying the right thing? If you disagree, let's hear from you. If you disagree, and also state why you disagree with the points that we just made here. We are here talking about the need for us as middle belt, as beer friends, as Yorubas to collectively go for our self-determination. And there is nothing stop, nothing can stop us. And, and one thing I will add, Nigeria is not working. Look at the flood. There's no light, no water, no road, no school, no bridges, no healthcare, no safety, no security. And that is why we are saying we are totally justified in going for self-determination as Biafrans, as Yorubas, as Middle to go and create our own nations and build the things that is lacking. Lacking, lacking inside contract from Nigeria. And the contract from Nigeria is not providing one of the, with none of the things I mentioned. No light, no water, no road, no safety, no security, no dam. Look at the flood. What is Nigerian government giving you as a Nigerian? They are giving you misery and impoverishment. And they are denying you your right to self-determination. So the time is now. We need to stand up together and go collectively for self-determination. 
I stand 100% for Yoruba Nation. Stand for Biafra, stand for Middle Belt. And we can work in our communities to go and encourage our people to, to go and, and, and speak up and claim what is theirs right to self-determination and expect and express that in the communities and build a nation that will work for them nigeria is not working for any of us it's not working for indigenous people and we need to call it as it is nigeria is a fraud that must be dismantled the only solution is the solution listen gentlemen you're watching citizen why the platform where we speak truth to power please um share this broadcast if it resonates with you let's hear from you leave some comments please we would like to hear from you um on, on our broadcast very very important leave your comments as you're watching thank you for watching and bye for now bye